So I'm Natalie Haas. I am an art history and curatorial studies major. I want to be an advocate for the arts, uh, however that takes shape. I think I'm aspiring most towards, at least right now, in my progression as an art history major. I was in a humanities class and suddenly I realized that humanities literally meant human, human beings, and that's, that's what it was a study of, was humans and how they expressed themselves and uh, what their motivations were and what their passions were and, and how they got those, those feelings on the inside, outside. And it gripped me in a way that no subject had before. Um, and I realized that maybe I wasn't meant to heal the human body, but maybe I could heal the human soul. I've always loved dancing. Uh, I didn't really get serious about it until uh, kind of mid teenage years. Um, and honestly, it sort of saved me in a lot of ways. Uh, when, you're, when you're growing up as a human being, you need a way to find yourself. You, you crave that, to find yourself and dance. Dance was a way I found myself and how I felt like I could share with people. Along with that, then drawing, uh, of course, was a huge thing. And uh, it's really funny because uh, my mom has often commented uh, like where did where did drawing even come from? Just because no one no one really taught me, it just sort of started happening, and then ever since it's just happened. And um, whether it's in the middle of class or at uh, at home or in the middle of church or whatever it may be, I'm I'm always doodling. It just it's like breathing. It just sort of happens uh, subconsciously. <laughs> when I was younger, there was a lot of theater. Uh, growing up and I loved acting and I still love acting. One of my greatest motivations is change. I want to be a part of some sort of change. I want to make an impact and I think we all can relate to that. We all want to, to serve a larger purpose. Things I'm, I'm dissatisfied with is uh, I think in our, our society there's there's not an appreciation uh, that, that other generations have had and I just that quality of appreciation just in general. Um, not just appreciating the arts, but appreciating people, appreciating the society that, that you're a part of, um, appreciating the world that you have a chance to live in. I think one reason that the humanities isn't as sought after by a lot of people is because we are losing that appreciation of the people around us, um, of these living human beings that have their own stories. Uh, we're losing interest in, in what their sorrows have been, what their triumphs have been, you know, what uh, things they're striving for. And when we lose that, then I think we lose a little part of our own humanity because then we can't learn about ourselves. Kind of like I was saying before, dance helps me learn about myself. When I see other people dance, it helps me learn about them and I grow. I want to help people uh, have gratitude again and have an appreciation for the things that are around them. Because uh, we miss out on so much just because we don't know how to notice it. And so if I can be that person through uh, art history, whether that be teaching or uh, actually you know, participating in the arts and actually doing something, um, maybe I can help people start noticing the things around them again. Maybe I can help them develop that skill. And that would be worthwhile. That would like blow my mind. That would be great. <laughs> I uh, would like uh, to get more involved uh, civically uh, with the arts and maybe lobbying for, for more support for the arts. Um, I think a lot of budgets are being cut in schools, in cities, uh, for art programs, for theater programs, for music programs, um, and it's, it's a shame. And, and so if I could do that somehow in the next upcoming years, that'd be really cool. I definitely want to have my own private art gallery um, and funnel local talent into it. Uh, maybe do like a marketing management sort of place. Along with that, uh, I also want to turn it into a dance hall uh, on the weekends or in the evenings or something like that. Um, maybe have like a little cafe on the side, you know, so someone wants to grab a bite. Um, and just have like a little cultural hotspot. I think if, if I could make it as an artist, then maybe I might uh, turn to more of kind of a production role and try to help other people uh, financially backing them and, and helping them get their start too. So just uh, whatever I can do to, to continue to grow uh, 
you know, a, a cultured generation, uh, however that can, can happen. So. Hey everybody, that was a fun powwow I had with Natalie Hawes right there. It was actually a really, really fun interview, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I had interviewing her. If you want to learn more about what kind of shenanigans she gets into and what kind of vision she has, please follow her Instagram, and you'll be able to find out more what she's up to in the future. If you know other people who I should interview who have a talent that is noteworthy of feeling yes inside, that something you can just feel that is genuine and has great potential, leave a comment below and please subscribe to Yes. We want to be able to promote and highlight as many awesome individuals as possible. We're going to make some more videos coming up soon, so stay tuned. And this is the Young Entertainment Specialist signing out. See you later.